Hi everyone, and welcome to Art Club with Ali. So, I'm Ali, or Miss Roman as I'm also known, and I'm a primary school teacher in a school in Oldham. Now, as a school, we decided to run some after-school clubs, just so we can give you some fun, entertaining, and other skills alongside all that wonderful home learning that you've been doing. But we decided what would be even better is to be able to share that with absolutely everyone. So for this week's project, we're doing technical line drawings of portraits. So just those basic skills to get proportions, the correct size of features and make our drawings look art gallery ready. So in this guided tutorial, if at any point you need to stop to catch up, please make sure you pause and give yourself plenty of time. And also don't be afraid to make mistakes. We've got that rubber, let's use it. Now, when we're doing these initial shapes that create our portrait, we want to be using a soft touch. We want light marks so that when we need to rub them out, it's very easy. Don't be pressing too hard. We can put those darker marks in and those more confident lines at the end when we're really happy with our shapes. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have lots of fun and good luck. Hi everyone, so we're going to start off by doing a line portrait. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a small, neat circle right in the centre of our page. Now remember, we're sketching so we can always adjust this and use a rubber to make it better. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line, a vertical line down the middle of our circle. So we split it into two halves. This is the centre line of our face. And then we're going to go horizontally into quarters, equal quarters. So we're going to focus on this bottom part, bottom half of our circle. This is where your eyebrows, your eyes and your nose are. And we're going to split that in half again, and that will be your eye line. So just give you a few seconds to catch up. You can always pause and stop and remember to press lightly. So now I've just drawn a small circle right at the bottom of my larger one and that will be the tip of our nose and I'm going to add two nostrils to each side. Not too big. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to follow those nostrils up and that will show us where the corners of our eyes are and then we're going to make two lines on either side just like I'm doing now and that's where your eye finishes. Not right at the edge of the circle, a small gap. So now we've got the eye line, the edges of our eyes, and I'm just showing you, this is the eyebrow line. So this is where your eyebrows should finish. So, when we draw faces, our face is divided into three parts. The top third is from our eyebrows to the top of our head. The second third is our eyebrows to the bottom of our nose. And the bottom third is from our, the bottom of our nose to our chin. And that gives us an idea of how to space our face out properly when we're drawing it technically. So I'm just gonna put a little mark and then going from the edges of that larger circle just below where the eyebrow line is, I'm gonna start drawing the sides of my face. Remember, we're being sketchy, so we can rub this out, change it and adjust it. And then we're gonna do that chin shape, so it's sort of, a point but with a flat base and as you can see I've adjusted my chin just a little bit because I thought it was too long so now I'm adding the neck now the neck is nearly as wide as your jaw is it's just slightly thinner so we don't want one of these lollipop necks like I'm showing you now we want a nice wide neck so it looks more realistic so let's get rid of those lines so I'll just give you a chance to have a look and catch up and get yours looking like mine you're doing great well done Okay, so I've zoomed in now because we're going to look at the eyes. So I'm starting on that inner corner part and I'm doing the top arch of the eye. And then I'm going to go and do the bottom swoop underneath. And the top part is slightly larger above that center eye line than the bottom. So we'll just repeat that on the other side. 
Don't worry if your eyes are not perfectly the same shape. Humans are not symmetrical. We don't look the same on both sides. And now I'm just putting that eyelid crease in. And again, we don't want really sharp, obvious lines. Our shapes are organic and natural and they have some slight irregularities in them. That means they're not perfect. So now we're starting on the eyebrow. And the eyebrow begins at the inner corner, just like I've started, and it sort of follows the shape of the eye and ends just outside of the outer corner. So have a look at mine and have a look carefully how I do it on the other side. So as you can see, I've drawn a line there to show you that it's slightly larger than where the end of my eye finishes. So look again. And don't worry if it goes slightly above that eyebrow line, that's fine. That's just a rough guide of where your eyebrows should finish, where the top of your eyebrows should end up. Okay, so we're gonna look back now at that bottom third in a second. So just have a look at what we've done so far. You can pause this, get yours looking like nine, and then we're gonna look at that bottom third. So halfway in between that bottom third, we're gonna draw a faint line that's just slightly longer than where our nostrils are. This is the center line of your lips. So our lips are not much wider than our nostrils. Make sure you're moving your paper around just like I am, getting different angles. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start defining those lips. So I like to sometimes move my drawings at different angles. So our lip shape is sort of like a bow and arrow. So look carefully, it curves up slightly and then points in at the middle and then curves up again. So we've got a little bow and arrow shape. Now we're going to put that top, that bottom lip in, sorry. And then we're going to start on the top lip in the center at Cupid's bow and go back out. So our lips are kind of like lots of different bow and arrows stacked up together. So I'll just give you a few moments to have a look at mine, have a look at yours, move it around. Get those shapes going close. If it helps, you can use a picture of someone to base your drawing off. But because I want us to just have a go at using these technical skills, I'm just doing mine from that imagination. So I don't feel, don't have to feel like there's any right or wrong. So now I'm just starting to rub out all those lines that I don't need, those guidelines. So very carefully, you start to rub yours out. Now we don't want to lose the shape of the nose, the lips, the eye shapes and the eyebrows. We just want to get rid of all of those other ones. And then once you've done that, we're going to soften up some of our shapes. So as you can see, I'm starting to make all my other lines slightly more faint so I can go back over them. And now I've look, if you look at my jaw, I've gone over it and made it softer. So we haven't got the sharp angles at the edges of our face anymore. We haven't got that sharp point on our jaw. We've got nice, smooth shapes. So I'm just gonna give you some time now for you to have a look at yours and start softening those shapes up. And then we're gonna start looking at the nose. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the nose now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some nostrils in really shallow ones because we can't see right up our nose we're looking at it from the front so i'm going to put those nostrils in and then we're going to start defining our shapes so we're going to curve up the sides of our nostrils a little bit and we're going to put some of those crease shapes in for the edges of our face the creases that join our nostrils to our lips now we're just looking at adjusting the shapes and the edges and adding little shadows to help build up the definition in that nose and make it more 3D and realistic. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just putting the shadow underneath my nose. So just have a look carefully and you add the shadow to yours. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just putting some faint lines in that show the shape of the bridge of my nose. That's the top part that goes right up to your eyes. So now we're zooming in on the eye. Let's have a look at that. The first thing we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna rub this bit out. I don't like it. It's a bit of an awkward shape. So I'm just gonna redraw that. 
and I'm just going to sort out the inner corner. This is where our tear ducts are. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the water line. So if you look carefully at someone's eye, you can see there's a little edge where your eyelashes are. So we're going to add that in there called water lines. And now I'm adding the tear duct and the outer duct, the little pink parts of our eye. Now we're going to jump back into the middle in a second. That's called our pupil. So the very black bit of your eye, the pupil, we're going to do that right in the center. And then around it very softly, we're going to draw the iris, the colored part of your eye. Now the iris is pretty much a circle, but with the top chopped off. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just adding shapes that show where the light will be. So if you look in someone's eye, you can see that they reflect lights. Now I'm adding the eyelashes. So your eyelashes are actually curved. That's what makes them look more realistic in a drawing. And your bottom eyelashes are a lot shorter and fewer than your top eyelashes. And they're usually lighter. So now we're starting on the top and you can see I'm flicking them out and grouping them together and they're slightly overlapping where my eye should be. That's going to make it look really realistic. Now, as you're adding your eyelashes, you want to sort to group them together in short little triangles because that's how our eyelashes go. Now, if you're not sure what I mean, just pause this and go and have a look at your mum and dad's eyes and look at their eyelashes carefully. So now we're going to go over to the other side and we're just going to repeat exactly what we did. So we might change some of the shapes and adjust it a little bit. So I'm moving it around, seeing how it looks. And now I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, so I'm going to jump forward just because I've already explained it. So now I've skipped in front a bit and I'm just going to add the eyelashes to this eye and the shadows into it. Just finish those last little touches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do use the edge of my pencil to add some light shadows in to give it a bit more realism. So underneath the eyebrow, in the eyelid crease, and just underneath the eye. So those shadows are what's going to make our drawing look more realistic. Now we're going to have a look at the eyebrows. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of those harsh lines. We don't want those in the way because our eyebrows don't look like they've just been drawn on with a pen or a sharpie. So let's soften those lines up just so we can see them. So very lightly with our eraser, we'll get rid of those, our rubber, our eraser, whatever you like to call it. I'm going to start at the center and our lines are going to go up. And then as they go further out in the eyebrow, they're going to curve around and follow that shape. Now we're using we need to use different pressures on our pencil to get those different eyebrow shapes and tones. So we're going to go very lightly first to fill the eyebrow in and then we're going to press on a little bit harder to get those darker shadows in to get, give it a really realistic effect. And then we're starting on the other eyebrow and we're going to do exactly the same. So here I'm just finishing the eyebrows off with a couple of flyaway eyebrows, eye hairs in the middle, some stray ones to make it look even more natural. Okay, so the next part we're going to focus on is the top third of our head. So from our eyebrows to the top of our head, and this is where our hairline is. So starting at the ears, we're going to draw our hairline in. And it's it doesn't our hair doesn't start at the very top of our head. It starts about an inch down. So, of that top third, now this is a bit of a maths moment, 
it's about a third of the way down. So if you look at mine, I've got a gap. That's where my hair is going to start from. So you just have a look at yours and draw that faint line in. So now I'm starting at the middle and I'm going to have a center part in. And I'm giving my drawing, who is a nice lady, some wavy shoulder length hair. I'm starting on that hairline and I'm just doing a wave to frame the face. And then we're going to move to the top of the head where the hair finishes. So look carefully. Just above the very top of our head, again, I'm giving it some wavy shape and on the other side. So I want to get the shape of my hair before I start rubbing any of the features out of the face, just in case I want to change it. So I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out all the lines that I don't need because our hair is covering them so we wouldn't be able to see them. I've left the hairline in where the hair doesn't fall over it because we can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to start to add some texture and some shadow lines in. So we're starting it with the hairline where it falls over and we're just adding, adding those hair shapes. And then we're going to go into the parting. I like to define the parting with sort of little hairlines that sh sort of look like little triangles. Now next, we're going to add some extra flowing lines to each side of the hair to look like chunks of hair strands. I'm just adding those in now. And we'll go on the other side. And again, I'm only thinking slightly about where they fall. And I've just added the kind of curve of her shoulders in. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. I hope you're happy with yours. So if you want to, here's a good place to pause it and just have a play around with yours, rub bits out. And now what I'm doing is I'm just adding some flyaway hairs because our hair isn't perfect. We've got little strands of hairs that move out of the way and those are perfect for making it look more realistic. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to add some extra shadows and just play about with the shapes and really define some stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a shadow underneath the chin. So if you look on most people, when the light hits our face, we get a bit of a shadow under our chin and then under our lip. So that's just gonna make that bottom lip look even more realistic. And then it's just a case of having a look, putting a bit of shadow here, some shadow next to the hair where it's covering the face and some shadows into the hair just to make it look more textured and realistic. So if you look carefully, now I'm just adding those shadows along the edge of the face where the hair is actually covering the face. So it's blocking the light from getting to it. So it will cast a shadow. And then we're just going over some of our lines. We're going to darken the lines around the eyes a little bit. Darken the lines on the lips and add some shadow to the top lip. Again, that's going to give it that 3D shape. And now I'm just going into that nose and creating those nose shadows. The key to an effective face or drawing of anything that's alive is your light and dark parts is that's what's going to make it look more 3D and realistic. But don't worry, because we're going to look at that and have a practice in another one of our art club projects. So once you've added those and you're quite happy with it, that's the end of our line drawing. So I hope yours is looking super duper. But if it's your first try, you can always have a go and have a go, because practice makes perfect. So I'm just going to leave this on here for you to have a look at and you can compare it to yours. Now, you might have decided to turn yours into a boy or a girl or someone you know, and that's fine. But well done and see you next week. OK, so that was our technical drawing of a portrait. So I hope you enjoyed it and it was really helpful. And again, I'd love to see what you have come up with. Keep having a go throughout the week, but trying different people, drawing from pictures, trying girls, boys, old and young, and I can't wait to see what you've come up with. 
Next week, we're going to focus on different features of the face and getting those looking really professional with lots of shadows and detail so they look super realistic as if they're a picture. So, I hope you had fun. Again, I'd love to see your work and catch you next time. Bye!